Hey, Peony Prashanti here today, and we're going to talk about pickles. I have a whole section here in my book, Nurturing Your Temple, and a whole story about pickles and why pickles are beneficial. You know, pickles is actually like an emergency food, too. Um, you know, with the eclipse coming up, you might want to like start making some pickles just in case you can't get to the store. Um, there's some truth to that, and, and I'm saying that jokingly, too. So there's different kinds of pickles. There's the miso pickles, there's soy sauce pickles, salty pickles, and then you have your um, cucumber dill pickles that that uh, we make here. But I'm going to teach you how to make Asian pickles. And if you get my book, there'll, there'll be a different, lots of different sections in, in the pickle section about um, how to make quick pickles versus pickles that take um, weeks to make or longer. And But today I'm going to make miso pickles. And yesterday we made some tofu, so I had tofu left over. I'm going to make tofu cheese and make some carrot pickles. Now you can use different kinds of vegetables, um, cauliflower, broccoli, especially the stem parts. Um, a lot of people throw those away because they're hard to digest, but pickles actually aid in digestion. And they um, they also help uh, boost your immune system. And they're, they're like I said, they're a very good source of um survival emergency food. In Japan, we eat a little bowl of rice, some pickles on the side dish, some maybe pieces of tofu and some soup and, and maybe a piece, you know, that's it. You don't really have to eat like a whole piece of pickle from like, I've seen people get a jar of pickles and get the whole cucumber and start crunching around. That's a little bit too much. Like I said yesterday, anything in moderation. So I have a big bowl of, I have a big bowl, a big jar of miso. And this is the the um, two-year aged miso, so it's not the very strong, salty, dark yang miso, even though miso is yang. And what we're doing is because we want to eat this in the fall when it starts to get cold and everything's going down into the ground, and, and then once it gets to be winter, it's like everything's dead. It's all like sleeping under the ground. But you still want to keep warm, and you want to keep warm from the inside, and what salt does is just heats you up from the inside. And miso being very salty, and when you're preserving your your vegetables or even some fruits in miso, it helps build that yang quality in your blood that you need to to be able to survive as a vegetarian in the um, in the winter time. So what I what I'm gonna do is I have some miso that I added to this jar, and then I'm gonna I already sliced up the carrots. You can cut them in rounds or you can um, strips however you want to uh, and you cut them according to the size of your jar and make sure you use glass. You don't want to use uh, plastic because miso has live enzymes in it just like yogurt, right? It's got some live beneficial enzymes in there and if you use plastic it just kind of like eats it all up. So I have one layer there and then I'm going to cover this, this layer. Now this with more miso and don't be afraid to use your fingers make sure they're nice and clean and cover cover the the vegetable completely with the miso and we're going to keep this like this for about a few days the longer you keep it the more saltier it gets and you don't want to eat too much like I said just one piece and cut it up small and it's a nice condiment to to eat with your your meal uh, especially breakfast and lunch okay and then we'll add another layer and, and then you know you're going to be eating layer after layer and once all the the carrots are gone this miso is still good, and you can use you can use the miso as your as you're eating your um, pickles. You can scrape the miso and put it in your soup. So I add some more to that. Okay, and I'll finish this later. I want to work on this tofu. So here's my leftover tofu, and because this this dish is going to be very salty, I'm making tofu cheese, and I'm going to do the same thing with the tofu that I did with the carrots but I'm going to wrap the tofu in some cheesecloth and the reason why I do that is because once you take this out of the miso um, the miso paste it'll be easier to to, to
to remove this because tofu is really soft if it's wrapped up in the cloth. You don't have to wrap it up in a cloth if it's prolonged. So long as you are able to take it out. Okay, so without breaking it. So anyway, I wrapped it up like this. And I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to make sure this is glass again. This might get a little too big. With this, with this, um, I might not, I might not, and I might, and I might not. <laughs> it all depends on how, what the constitution of the miso is after I take this out. Once, once this is done, you keep this in here for about three days, and then once this is done, it becomes cheese, and it's very salty, so you just want to eat a little bit. Some people like to um, uh, mash it up and put it on their crackers, and that's really delicious, tofu cheese crackers. Okay, and then you can smooth it out nicely like this. If you're a perfectionist like me, you want everything to be just right and even. Okay. And then you put your tofu on top of this. And then you cover it up. It seems like it seems like it's a waste of miso, but it's not because like I said, you can use this again. You can use the miso again. There's really nothing wrong with it because everything's clean. Your cheesecloth is clean and and I buy miso in the bulk, like five gallon tubs. And I get a bunch of my friends together and we have a miso packing party. Everybody brings their jars and it it comes it becomes a lot cheaper that way versus buying it in the supermarket. Because in the supermarket I think it's about like almost ten to twelve dollars or something for a small little organic container. But if you buy it in a five gallon bucket then it comes to like oh two three dollars or something. You know, the more people you have the the cheaper it is. So if anybody wants to have a miso party let me know because I I love I love saving miso and I like buying in bulk because it's uh, you eliminate containers and plastic and whatnot and you get to have a fun a fun miso party time with your friends okay so my tofu is hiding in here and it's all covered up nicely see look at that all right in about three days, we'll check this, and I'll get some crackers, and then in a couple of days, we'll be able to eat the uh, carrot pickles. I didn't have, I did not have a garden of vegetables this year, so I don't have anything to pickle. You can, you can put kale in here. You can put onions. All right. Check back in three days, and this goes in the refrigerator. Bye!